Well, hello there. Today we're going to watch a classic TV series called Knott's Landing, a show that I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with. Knott's Landing is known far and wide as one of the best TV series to ever hit the air. So today, we're going to reminisce and watch the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. We will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors from the show and how they changed in 2023. Okay, let's check it out together. Michelle Lee was born as Michelle Lee Dusick in Los Angeles, California on June 24, 1942. She played the character Karen McKenzie in the series when she was 37 years old in 1979. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 80. Oh, Jill doesn't work for Mac. She works with him. Either way. Either way what? It must be a great honor. It has its moment. Extraordinarily popular. And it said something to our audience about the... Ted Shackelford was born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma on June 23, 1946. He played the character Gary Ewing in the series when he was 33 years old in 1979. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 76. I, I can understand why you don't want to talk about it. I'm an alcoholic, and I know what that's like. Joan Van Ark was born in New York City on June 16, 1943. She played the character Valene Ewing in the series when she was 36 years old in 1979. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 79. I'm finding out who its real parents are. Don't you understand? The mother doesn't want to be found. But I do! Don't you understand? Very subtly, things? that was, I would be, uh, see no, and so I'd have my hand on my on my eye. Michelle would be holding her ear. Kevin Dobson was born in Jackson Heights, New York on March 18, 1943. He played the character Mac McKenzie in the series when he was 39 years old in 1982. Sadly, Dobson died after struggling with autoimmune deficiency on September 6, 2020 in Stockton, California. He was 77 years old. I knocked over a lamp, and it broke. And my dad beat the hell out of me. He just didn't spank me. And, and their, their wardrobe setups, their property departments, their films, you know, I think it's going to be quite something. And, you know, it's not... William Devane was born on September 5th, 1939, in Albany, New York. He played the character Gregory Sumner in the series when he was 44 years old in 1983. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 83. Whatever you say. So what's next? I mean, what happens now? Wanted to. Which one would it be? What, to reboot it? Yeah, reboot. Jeez, I don't know. Not slanding. Huh? You want another job, don't you? It's yours. <laughs> Constance McCashin was born in Chicago, Illinois on June 18, 1947. She played the character Laura Avery Sumner in the series when she was 32 years old in 1979. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 75. So actually, I really don't want to say goodbye. Just I love you very, very much. You say things you've never seen said out loud even to yourself. Wow. How about that? Wow. <laughs> that is the best answer I have ever. Nicolette Sheridan was born in Worthing, England on November 21st, 1963. She played the character Paige Matheson in the series when she was 23 years old in 1986. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 59. You know, you gave me some advice a while back. So here's some for you, just in case you're having second thoughts about Greg. Isn't working and I think has been broken for, for a long time. So I don't want to get into how to fix it, but. Julie Harris was born in Gross Point, Michigan 
on December 2, 1925. She played the character Lily Mae Clements in the series when she was 55 years old in 1980. Sadly, Harris died on August 24, 2013 of congestive heart failure at her home in West Chatham, Massachusetts. She was 87 years old. Okay, this is me being an adult. She is. I loved it. I, it's one of the plays that was, to me, a great experience to see. Terry Austin was born and raised in Toronto, Canada on April 17, 1957. She played the character Jill Bennett in the series when she was 28 years old in 1985. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 66. Peter Hollister. I'm Terry Austin from the Amanda Foundation and today we're at the Downey Shelter and I'm here with Amy Sadler who has allowed us to come out to do some continuing. Lisa Hartman was born in Houston, Texas on June 1st, 1956. She played the character Kathy Geary in the series when she was 26 years old in 1982. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 66. Well, there are many, and we prank at home and on the tour, on yes. the buses. He's just, he's, he's constantly in it. He, he never lets up. Michelle Phillips was born as Holly Michelle Gilliam on June 4th, 1944, in Long Beach, California. She played the character Ann Matheson in the series when she was 43 years old in 1987. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 78. Don't you have a close relationship with Katie? Uh, she's not gonna tell me. Oh, well, we're close. But I wouldn't... Re when we uh, recorded it, or even what it meant to us at the time, I just... Uh, in me. Kim Lankford was born in Montebello, California on June 14, 1954. She played the character Ginger Ward in the series when she was 25 years old in 1979. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 68. John Plachette was born in New York City, New York on July 27, 1942. He played the character Richard Avery in the series when he was 37 years old in 1979. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 80. <laughs> to the green. Six months go by, doesn't hear from him, doesn't see him. A year goes by, nothing. Alec Baldwin was born on April 3rd, 1958 in Amityville, New York. He played the character Joshua Rush in the series when he was 26 years old in 1984. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 65. And to the Greek. I thought there were a number of misconceptions, most of it from sources I would. Donna Mills was born Donna Jean Miller in Chicago, Illinois on December 11, 1940. She played the character Abby Ewing in the series when she was 40 years old in 1980. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 82. You pulled it off and nobody knows. Nobody except me, of course. And to the Ted and I had the, some of the funniest times ever because we were in bed together so much. Before we wrap up this journey through the world of Knott's Landing TV series, I want to hear from you. Who's your favorite character from the series? What's this thing they have that is so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. 
Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane.